Hello and welcome to this video on working with Microsoft Excel. So I've recently put out a course about managing your personal finances using Microsoft Excel. But I've got a common question from the students enrolled in that course. Here's the question. Can you go more in depth in managing your high interest rate loans? Things like credit cards, personal loans, car loans, student debt loans, things like that. So I've created a debt snowball calculator inside of Microsoft Excel. Now, if you haven't heard about the debt snowball technique in paying off your high interest rate loans, credit cards, personal loans, and so on, I'm going to go over it right here. Now, I've got a workbook open in front of you. This one is called Snowball Debt-01. And if you would like, you can go down to the description of this video, just right down below, and you can download your own copy. This way you can follow along with me. You can use it for your own personal scenarios, your own debt, whatever you like to do. But it's free for you to use, just right down below. Look for the officenoob.com link, and you can download the file from there. Now, while you're down there in the description, if you enjoy this video, you will learn something new, you enjoy the document, you get some use out of it, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, lets me know you're enjoying it, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we post here on Microsoft Excel and other Microsoft Office applications. All right, let's jump in and let's take a look at this document. So this document again is called Snowball Debt-01. It's an Excel file. And in this file, it's got quite a bit on here. It's got a single worksheet, but it's got quite a bit on here. There's really two main areas that we're gonna start to work in. We got the table at the top where I've got 10 rows for monthly debt bills. So things like maybe you got multiple credit cards, credit card one, credit card two, maybe you got a car loan, Maybe you got a personal loan. Maybe you got some student debt, right? And we can start to populate this table with all of that information. And then down below, we've got a much larger table that as we start to populate the table at the top, this one will start to fill up with all the details of our monthly payments. So let's try this out. I'm going to go up into record number one of the table. And we got name there. So what's our first debt? Let's see, I'm going to have, I'm going to make this really generic. I'm just going to call this credit card one. I'm going to tab over. So the amount column now wants to know what's your total amount on that card that you currently own. So let's say I've got a total amount of $3,500 on that card currently. Tab over again. Now it wants to know, okay, great. You got a credit card. You got the max or you got the total amount currently on that card. What is your minimum monthly payment? And I would say for this one, my monthly payment is $125. Okay. Tab over again. Now, as you're populating this table, like I mentioned earlier, the rest of the worksheet is starting to populate. So I got a couple of nice little charts here giving me some information. Currently, how many months is it going to take to pay off? What is our current amount in interest? Well, we haven't filled out the interest rate yet, but we'll get there. And down below, it's starting to break down the monthly payments. So it is currently going to take roughly 28 months to pay that off. And I can see right here, we got all the way down to 25 or 28 months. And $125 put towards that principal amount or that, that current amount on that card as we pay that down. Now let's drop in the interest. Interest. All right. Let's just... Let's see, credit card. Credit cards are killers. Let's see, I currently have a 19% interest rate on that card. All right, tab over. So now we're starting to see, all right, if I'm putting $125 towards that loan amount, right, that credit card, I'm starting to still pay it down. But now with 19%, it's taking 37, just, just roughly 37 months to pay that off. We got a difference between these two columns here and some rounding, and 30, roughly 37 months. And we can see our total interest on that one credit card right now, right? As over the lifetime of paying that off, we got $1,063.24. And, and it's taken us roughly 37 months to pay off. 
All right. Let's see. In our next payment, let's see. It's currently September, so I'm going to say October. We'll say October 10th is my next payment. So it'll be sometime in 2026 where I finally paid that card off. Okay. Roughly three years right there. Roughly three years to pay that, that, that $3,500 debt, credit card debt at 19%, paying the minimum $125. All right, what do you think? Ouch, yeah. All right, so here's where this worksheet really starts to get interesting. Let's say right now I'm currently making $125 minimum payments on that card. Well, what if at the end of paying all of my debt or all of my bills or all of my necessities, right, things like food and rent or mortgage, insurance, so on and so on and so on. I paid off everything. Every All my money has been budgeted or accounted for. But now I find out, oh, I've got an extra $100 every month that I could put towards paying off my high interest debt. Well, currently I'm making a payment, a hundred minimum payment, $125. And we can see where that gets us to. We've got, a ma or we've got an interest of just over $1,000, taking us three years, roughly three years to pay that off. Well, if I've got an extra $100 that I could put to paying this off, let's see what happens. So inside of cell D15, I'm going to put in that 100 I have my enter key, and let's see what happened here. So now it's going to take me roughly 18 months versus the 37, which was just over three years, right? And now going to take us roughly a year and a half to pay off, and a total interest of $477. So we've cut the interests in more than half by just paying an extra $100 a month towards that credit card. And we can see our table here. Rather than the 125, we're now paying 225 on this credit card. And it's taken us down roughly to 18 a month to pay that off, a year and a half, right? All right. Just a little bit more. What, what if we only had $50, right? $50 extra every month, right, to put towards that. So now we got two years. So it's a year earlier than it was if you just did the minimum. And we've got $661. So roughly about almost, roughly about $400 difference between if we pay just the minimum versus paying just an extra $50. Or an extra $25. You can try that out. Right? You can experiment here and see where can we fall within our budget to pay off our debt, that high interest rate debt, quicker. All right, let's take this a step further. So that's a single credit card. What if I've got multiple credit cards? Let's drop in another one here. Oop, spell it right. We got credit card two. All right, now in the debt snowball technique, you're going to list out your debt here from the lowest amount to the highest amount. So you're gonna go in ascending order for your amount towards your various debt. So first credit card was at 3,500. My next credit card, let's say this one's got $9,000 on it. $9,000 of debt on this second credit card. And my minimum payment on this one, let's say it's at uh, $200. And I've got another 19% interest rate. And this one is due on the 9th of every month as well. All right, let's see what we got. So now we've got roughly 79 months if we pay just the minimum value here okay, of $200. But our worksheet is starting to work a little magic here. And this is where the debt snowball comes into play. I'm going to take this $50 out for just a moment. We're going to come back to it. Let's wipe that out for a moment. So now with those two cards, we've got... Let's see, a total amount of $12,500. And if we just pay the minimum, just the minimum on those two cards, we're going to have $6,000 of interest by the time those two cards are paid off. Well, let's look through here. So my first one, my smallest bill, my smallest debt is $3,500, but I'm paying the minimum amount, $125, and it's going to take us roughly 37 months to pay off. 
Now the second debt, which is $9,000, which has a minimum of $200 in there, 19% interest, we're paying that 200 at the same time we're paying the minimum on the first one, right? 125 for this bill, 200 for this bill every month. And that's a total of $325. Well, as I keep going here, scrolling down this table, so the first one ends at about roughly 37 months. We're no longer paying that $125 towards that bill. We're, that bill's gone. That credit card is done. So we're going to take that 125 This is the snowball. We're going to take that 125 that we were paying for 37 months. We're still paying on the second one of $9,000, currently paying the $200 minimum. But we're now we're going to take that 125 that we were paying and put it towards the next credit card. We're going to snowball. We're going to roll the payment from the one that got paid off into the next one that still has an amount on it. So now we're no longer making $200 payments, but we're making $325 payments. And we're starting to pay that off. Okay? This one's still taking us about 58 months to pay off. Interest on the two of them, once we're done paying them off, roughly $6,000, six and a half. But we got that extra $100 every month. We could put towards our debt. Let's watch what happens. I love this. So remember these numbers right here. Right, roughly $6,400 in interest. Let's say I got an extra $100. I'm going to put that towards my debt. There's my extra $100. All right, first one, we're paying now $125 towards our credit cards. Boop, boop, boop. Drops us down to roughly 18 months. We saw that earlier. But now, that much quicker, we're now taking an extra $100 and putting it towards the second credit card plus the extra $125 that we were paying towards this credit card. And we're now paying it off in roughly 39 months. Our interest dropped by just over $2,000 over the lifetime. And it's gonna take us roughly three years, just over three years to pay off this debt. If we didn't have that $100, that would take us almost five years, just over four and a half years to be able to pay that off. We got an extra 100. Great, maybe you got an extra 150, even greater. Interest rate went down quicker, right? Our time to pay off the debt went down even quicker. Snowballing. Take that payment, make the minimums. Once you're done with one, take the minimum from that one, roll it into the other one, snowball into your next debt, and pay it off even quicker. And if you got extra, whether that's even just an extra $50, an extra $25, whatever it is, it's going to help you over that lifetime to pay it off quicker and to save it on interest. So try this out. It's a great little document. Just populate the table above and it will fill in the rest for you. Break down your payments, break down your schedule. You could drop in your additional payment if you've got that luxury, pay it off even quicker for you. All right, remember the files down below, find it in the description. Look for the officenoob.com blog. The link there, you'll find the file, download it for free. And if you enjoy the video, you'll learn something new here, you can take advantage of this file. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we post right here. All right, try it out, save yourself a load of money, and I'll see you in the next video.